The Department of Career Services is happy to offer Hyration, a professional skills tool that uses the help of AI to support the editing of resumes, cover letters, and LinkedIn profiles. In this video, I will be walking you through the resume function. We will go over different ways to leverage the AI tools to create a document that effectively represents your skills and experiences. Once you log into Hyration, you will be presented with a dashboard where you can create a new resume. Select Create a New Resume and you'll be provided with several layout options. Here, you can select the design that best fits the role or career field you're applying to. I'll be selecting the simple design because it's ATS and OCR friendly. Now that I have selected the resume style, I'm prompted to create a new resume or upload a version of my resume. In this video, we will walk through what steps each option provides. First, we will select Upload My Resume. We will add the resume we want the software to review for us, and then Hyration will load the resume into the platform and provide a review of the document. Next, your resume will be shown on the screen. Now, you can begin looking at the different functionalities of Hyration. We can start with Document Format. In the top right-hand corner, there's a gear you can click on for additional preferences. Here, you can edit the date format on your document, change the page size, and receive help for navigating the software. Hyration also provides layout editing options by hovering over sections of your resume. Here, you can select to duplicate sections, delete a section, move the section, or edit other preferences like showing dates, companies, and more. Other editing capabilities can be found across the top. Here, you can edit font style and size, you can edit margins and line height, and if after editing the document you're no longer fond of the style you chose, you can select the Switch Design tool and change the design of your document. Once your layout and design is the way you prefer, we can begin using Hyration to edit content. The first thing we will look at is the Rewrite with ChatGPT function. We will look at the professional summary. Now. When we click the Rewrite with Chat GPT button, the AI edits the summary. If you like the edited summary, you can select Replace Section Text. We can use the same functionality for each section and the AI can even help you edit the bullets of your resume. Please keep in mind, AI is a powerful tool and can help edit your document. However, you need to still edit and add your own words. Do not rely on just the AI function. Hiring managers and recruiters will be able to tell if you do so. Hyration has other really great features you can leverage as well. Your right side panel breaks down the AI review of your document. The top of the bar will grade your resume. This grade is based on the success of your document structure, skill level analysis, contact information, reverse chronology of the document, and bullet analysis. You can click through each section on the side panel to review what the AI read about your resume and how it's reviewing it. This will also break down how you get the score that's at the top of the side panel for your resume. You can read through the contact info, skill level analysis, reverse chronology, and receive tips and tricks for how to fix it. For this resume, we're getting all check marks, but what we will go over is the bullet analysis. The bullet analysis will review in three sections, poor bullets, okay bullets, great bullets. We'll start with poor bullets, and you can look on the side and see how it's explaining to you that you could edit or update your current one to make it stronger, make it more stand out. Okay bullets will do the same thing, but they'll let you know here that you're missing something key. Again, it's quantifying the bullet to make sure there's figures and percentages. The great bullet section will almost always have green check marks, but you might have one red X, you might have two red X's, for example. On this one, it's don't end your bullet point with a period. So we'll go back, we'll delete that, and then you'll see that it turns into a green check mark, letting you know that you've made the update. Once you've finished reviewing the right side panel, you're ready to either preview and download or get expert review. Preview and download, you click the button in the top right, it'll render your resume and you can see here how it pops up and then you can hit download if you're ready to download. You can also get an expert review. If you click this, it'll send your resume to one of our career coaches for review. They can provide feedback and more information about your next steps for your resume. Now that we've gone over this version of creating a new resume, let's go back and do it a different way. We can go back, we're gonna reselect the simple design down here that I just used, and we're gonna select create a new resume. Here, we can look at the use pre-written resume options, where you can come in if you don't have a resume yet and see different resume templates that have been created or are provided by our Department of Career Services. We have a lot of different options in here depending on programs, job roles, announcements, all of that good stuff. 
but if you really want to create one from blank, use a blank template. Once we click on that, it'll take us and you'll see here we have a perfect blank template, but it's the same layout as it was when we were editing your current resume. You'll see the score starts at 49, but I want to point out the job match function. Now in the job match function, what you can do is research a job announcement you're interested in applying for. You can go copy and paste the job match announcement and place it in here. So once you're ready, you can go pull from a job announcement that you're interested in applying for. We're going to jump back to the original resume. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to grab a job description for a logistics manager. We will copy and paste all of this. There we go. And we're going to go back to the original resume and pop it in here and we're gonna put the job description in and we're gonna hit analyze. It'll take a few moments as it's comparing the content in your resume to the content in the job description. You'll wanna pay attention to the percentage match, the critical skills, and the good to have skills. The AI is gonna break down what skills you should add to your resume, maybe language that you want to include. So when this goes through maybe ATS, or when a hiring manager or a recruiter is looking at your resume, it reflects what that job description is requiring. This is a really great tool and super helpful if you're on the job search. Thank you so much for watching our video today on leveraging Hyration for your resume. Be sure to visit our other two videos, leveraging Hyration for a cover letter and leveraging Hyration for your LinkedIn profile.